Hi everyone, my name is Jimena Diz. I'm a registered dietitian and I work at Balanced Eating Disorder Treatment Center in Manhattan. Today I just wanted to hop on here and address some common misconceptions and questions that I hear a lot uh, from our clients about intuitive eating. And intuitive eating, whether you've heard of it or not, is um, it's become a, a more popular topic in recent years. Uh, and I find that sometimes there's still some confusion about what intuitive eating really is about. Alright, so first off, what is intuitive eating? Intuitive eating is an approach to health and food that helps you free yourself from any dieting or any strict food rules that you might be holding on to. It really allows you to reconnect to your body and your internal signals around food. And these internal signals I'm referring to might are hunger, fullness, and satisfaction. And intuitive eating helps you trust your body around food again. When people hear about intuitive eating, they might think, so this is just another diet, right? And no, it's actually the complete opposite of a diet. There's no calorie counting, there's no good or bad foods, uh, there's no eating at specific times of the day or following a specific meal plan. Instead, intuitive eating is about reconnecting to your body and the messages that it's sending to you about your hunger, your fullness, and your satisfaction. Intuitive eating is about giving yourself permission to eat what your body really needs without feeling guilty. When people hear about this, about eating what you really need without feeling guilt, they'll say, so intuitive eating is about eating whatever you want, whenever you want. Is that what you're saying? And this is one of the tricky parts of intuitive eating for lots of people. Intuitive eating does encourage you to give yourself unconditional permission to eat all foods without judgment. For some people that sounds crazy because for whatever reason they don't trust themselves around food or they fear that they won't be able to stop themselves from eating everything if they do give themselves permission. Just take a brief moment, think about this with me for a moment. Say you decide to give yourself permission to eat your favorite food, whatever that might be. And perhaps this is a food that you find for whatever reason that you have to restrict or limit and you're, you're not having it super regularly. So you start eating at first, it might seem really exciting to you and you're, and you're gonna have it for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, whenever, all the time. But if you think about it, after a while it's probably gonna start feeling a bit old. You might still enjoy it, you know, the flavor, whatever, but just not as much as what you initially thought or how it initially felt. And you might also start thinking about other foods that you're not having that you would like to eat. It's really like anything in life, whether it's a new technological gadget that you just bought and, or a toy or whatever it is that at first you're really excited about, but after a while you just kind of get used to it and it's not as exciting. Some people will say so intuitive eating doesn't really care about nutrition and health. And the truth is that yes, <laughs> nutrition is one of the 10 principles of intuitive eating and it's very important to intuitive eating. Um, intuitive eating was developed by two dietitians who absolutely believe in the importance of nutrition. There's no denying that nutritionally all foods are not created equal. But something that intuitive eating really emphasizes, and our society unfortunately does not, is that all foods are morally equal. In other words, there's no good or bad food. It's also important to keep in mind that the food decisions that we make on a daily basis are, are also influenced by things such as your taste preferences, your appetite, your time, your budget, other, and other factors. So you might be surprised to find that when all foods become morally equal, you regularly, regularly enjoy and crave foods that are, that are nourishing 
and satisfying to your mind and your body. Some people will ask, will intuitive eating help me lose weight? And the honest answer is that I don't know. Once you start practicing intuitive eating um, and giving yourself that freedom around food, you might notice that your weight goes down, your weight goes up, or it stays the same. Every person is different, and we can't really predict how your body will respond. And if this is, you know, the weight loss component is something that initially caught your attention about intuitive eating, I want to send you a lot of compassion because it's completely understandable that given the diet-obsessed, weight-loss-focused culture that we live in, that we're always looking for that newest, best way to lose weight. And what I can tell you is that intuitive eating will help you get to your body's natural, comfortable weight and help you stop weight cycling if that is something you've experienced. We're all born with a predetermined weight range that is healthy for us, and that range varies from person to person. The bottom line is that your ultimate goal is health, and intuitive eating is definitely a tool that will help you achieve your optimal health regardless of what weight you're at. So some people are like, okay, this sounds interesting, I'm, I'm curious about intuitive eating, so how long does it take to become an intuitive eater? And that is also a question I cannot give you a definitive answer to because becoming an intuitive eater can really be a challenging journey for some and it varies from person to person. Unlike many or, or most diets that are relatively easy to start on but hard to maintain, intuitive eating can be harder at first but becomes easier become, as it becomes natural to you. And I want to give you some words of encouragement. We're all born intuitive eaters. So it's a matter of relearning and reconnecting to that part of yourself that has been kind of buried under the messages that we constantly receive from, from diet culture. Those are some of the questions that or misconceptions that I often hear about intuitive eating. And I would love to keep chatting about intuitive eating with you because it's something I'm, I'm really passionate about and if you're interested in learning more I'd like to invite you to a free webinar and if you'd like to join after this video you'll be directed to the website where you'll be able to sign up for the webinar called a snapshot into intuitive eating and during this webinar we'll be talking a little more in depth about what intuitive eating is we'll review the 10 principles um, we'll review what the benefits of intuitive eating are and how intuitive eating can help you during specifically this global pandemic that we're currently living through so i hope to see you there um, and see you soon